I'm Michael Hitchborn and you're watching the American Life League Report. Ever since Bishop Olmsted of Phoenix, Arizona announced that Sister Margaret McBride had excommunicated herself for authorizing an abortion at a Catholic hospital, uninformed and dissident Catholics have engaged in a smear campaign against the good bishop. For instance, the National Catholic Reporter, which is hardly Catholic by the way, published no less than eight articles attacking Bishop Olmsted with such headlines as the saintly sister Margaret and her Episcopal detractor, and ethicists fault Bishop's action in Phoenix abortion case. Perhaps one of the most damaging articles was titled Shades of Grey in a World of Apparent Absolutes by Father Thomas P. Doyle. In the article, Father Doyle twists the facts and tries to focus so much on the particulars, he ignores the most basic element of the case. Sister McBride authorized the direct and intentional killing of a completely innocent and defenseless human being. Here are the facts. Last December, a 27-year-old mother went to St. Joseph's Hospital and Medical Center looking for help because she was 11 weeks pregnant and suffering pulmonary hypertension, which is a potentially deadly condition. However, instead of working to save both patients, the Hospital Ethics Committee, which is headed by Sister McBride, concluded that an abortion was a good and moral option. And once the decision to kill the baby was made, Sister McBride put her name on the execution order. Writing for the Jesuit-run America Magazine, Father James Martin published a hit piece against Bishop Olmsted titled, Cavaney on Abortion. Kathy Cavaney is a Notre Dame law and theology professor who, incredibly, said, I think it is likely what took place wasn't an abortion in the sense the procedure is prohibited by Catholic moral teaching. It was a surgical separation of mother from baby with the foreseen terrible and unwanted side effect of causing the baby's death. What a total perversion of the truth. We know from reports that this was a surgical abortion. The baby was the direct target of the surgery where she was murdered, torn to pieces, and ripped from her mother's womb. Once Bishop Olmsted heard about the abortion in one of his Catholic hospitals, he met with Sister McBride, who confirmed to him that she had indeed approved the abortion, causing her automatic excommunication. One of the most basic precepts of Catholic moral teaching is that no one may do evil so that good may come of it. In other words, the ends can never justify the means. Pope Pius XII said in 1951, to save the life of a mother is the most noble end but the direct killing of the child as a means to this end is not licit. Furthermore, Canon 1398 of the Code of Canon Law makes it clear, a person who procures a completed abortion incurs automatic excommunication. Because the excommunication is automatic, all the articles and hit pieces accusing Bishop Olmsted of excommunicating Sister McBride are entirely baseless. Here's why. Suppose Sister McBride is climbing up a rope to Grace. As she is climbing, she pulls out a knife and cuts the rope above her. Bishop Olmsted finds Sister McBride on the ground, examines the rope and the knife, and informs her that she has cut herself off from Grace, and then explains what she must do in order to reestablish that connection. This case can't be any clearer. Bishop Olmsted did not impose the penalty of excommunication on Sister McBride. But just as one is cut from the life of grace through a mortal sin, Sister McBride cut herself off from the church by committing an automatically excommunicable offense. So because dissident Catholics are attacking this bishop's good name, American Life League launched a letter of support for Bishop Olmsted, gathering the signatures of faithful Catholics around the world. The individuals signing this letter pledge their support for Bishop Olmsted's faithful defense of church teaching to accomplish his primary task which is the salvation of souls in his diocese. Bishop Olmsted reminds us that the murder of an innocent preborn baby is at the center of this horror and strikes at the very core of the gospel of life. Please stand with us and support Bishop Olmsted by adding your signature to our open letter. Go to supportolmsted.com and let him know that he has your prayers and your support. For American Life League, I'm Michael Hitchborn.